Blaze is one of the highest communities in Grenada. It has about 120 people who live between 1,200 and 1,500 feet above sea level. Access to portable water has long been a challenge for the people of Blaze. Factors like topography, road conditions, and lack of sufficient water from springs pose a challenge for Nawasa, the National Water and Sewage Authority. Yeah, I live here my whole life and up here nicely, but the problem is, the only problem is about the water. We never really had any pipe bone water or since in the days of my great-grandmother. They said that there was promised pipe bone water, but it never really happened. The time is had a lot of time wasted, um, especially when, before, like when I used to go to school, you used to get up like early, like maybe 5.30 in the morning to go down to the, the main dam to get water. And in the evening, you had to come back, maybe early, go to, to catch again. So it was a real it was very challenging. You see, we had a um, spout here with a um, container there. Water. Collect water, you see. We had to collect as much water we could collect when the rain fall. Else, well, right now, the tank is low. And we have to go for water now to fill up the tank for tomorrow, please God. You see? We have to go way back down St. John to collect water. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's difficult. We used to get rainfall long ago. But right now, with this stem climate change, and so we don't get that much rain. Nawasa's supply truck visited Blaze every two to three weeks to fill containers in the community. But this was not a sustainable solution. Delivering water was particularly challenging because of the condition of many of the roads in Blaze. The Blaze Rainwater Harvesting Project seeks to create a solution through the creation of a replicable model to improve water supply in communities lacking piped supply systems. The shift in the climate debate has moved from is it happening and what are the contributing factors to how we are going to now get ready for it, to promoting resilience action. And at the same time, there's also been a move from short-term independent projects mm -hmm. to longer-term, more holistic programming. Mm -hmm. Blaze Rainwater Harvesting Project was the first community-based project we've done in Grenada. We chose the site because it um, presented serious challenges for us based on its topography. It's one of the highest communities in Grenada. We tried for several years to use existing springs which um, become severely challenged in the dry season. Well, I was born in Blaze and from since I experienced myself, we have in trouble for water because the small spring we have in the back there and it's about a mile and a half from here as a matter of fact. And when you go there to get some water, you have to take about a bucket of water will take you about 25 minutes. Well, in those days, we used to like, we're going to school, we're going to school four days a week, because on the Friday we had to stay home to go and collect water. And we, have, we used to have barrels and so on, putting water in barrels and so on. The area has a very good quantity of rainfall in the rainy season, so it provided the ability for us to, to store that for the dry season. So when we put all those factors together, um, we decided that the rainwater approach, simple, traditional, reliable, was the best system to invest in up there. In September 2015, construction of a 15,000 square foot rainwater catchment and a 50,000 gallon concrete storage tank began. From the tank, a distribution network was assembled to supply water to the individual homes. The entire project cost 120,000 US dollars. Climate change is a, cr a critical issue for a small island state like Grenada, and in particular, uh, the water sector is uh, already now what we see, but in the future, even more affected by climate change. The commissioning ceremony took place on July 28, 2016. Since then, most of the residents of the Blaze community are now connected to the water system and for the first time have access to a reliable, safe source of water right in their homes. One of the key areas that we looked at, again, was piloting action 
on the ground that would be tangible and visible, that would have opportunities for upscaling and for replication, but would be tailored specifically to the need. So this wasn't a cookie cutter approach that we were applying. And Blaze is identified as one of those examples. Keep up the spirit of cooperation, the spirit of cooperation between the local community, between uh, Nawasa, the Ministry of Environment, so in short, the authorities of Grenada, and those uh, from abroad who uh, want to help and share the same goals of a planet we want to conserve. I must say, God bless the uh, Nawasa and the donor agency, whosoever, make it possible to give us help, however it could be possible, to give us this water. And from the time the water came in, well, it's about, our time was going to say about a month now, and we feel happy, very happy. Well, it's, um, the project was a good initiative, and I think it's, uh, so far it's been a success. Uh -huh. It's great, I mean, it saved time. Every time you may have to come outside, fill up a bucket, or to go to the bathroom, or the washroom. Now you have it ready, you can just turn on. The Blaze Rainwater Harvesting Project is an initiative by the Integrated Climate Change Adaptation Strategies Project, ICAS, and the National Water and Sewerage Authority, NAWASA. ICAS is a collaboration between the Environment Division of the Government of Grenada, the German Federal Ministry for the Environment, Nature Conservation, Building and Nuclear Safety within the International Climate Initiative, and implemented in Grenada by the Environment Division, the German Agency for International Cooperation, GIZ, and the UNDP.